right, roll a plane if you like. What's going on guys? Welcome back to more salt. It is officially comfort food season and I have an amazing comfort food recipe for you today. I will be showing you how to make roasted garlic mac and cheese with smoky portobello mushrooms. This recipe is so rich, so delicious, and it is most definitely carnivore approved. So to start this recipe, we're going to make the mushrooms because they take the longest. So you're gonna need two large portobello mushrooms or three medium-sized portobello mushrooms. And I'm using portobello mushrooms here because mushrooms shrink a lot when you cook them. So I wanted something pretty large so that after we cook them, they're still a really good size and they don't just get shriveled up in the oven. You're gonna start by removing the stem of your mushrooms and setting them aside. And then you're going to cut your mushrooms into quarter inch slices. After you've sliced your mushrooms, you can set them aside while we make our glaze. For the mushroom glaze, you are going to add to a large bowl a quarter cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce or one tablespoon of Bragg's liquid aminos, two teaspoons of maple syrup, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and some freshly cracked pepper. Whisk that together and then you can add your sliced mushrooms and carefully with your hands toss them around in the marinade. You want to be very gentle because you don't want the mushrooms to break everywhere. Then you're going to line a baking sheet with parchment paper or a silpat and line up the mushrooms evenly on the baking sheet and place in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes has passed, you can flip the mushrooms over and put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. I would maybe check them at the 15 minute mark. You don't want them to burn or overcook. And I know these mushrooms look like they are burnt, but they are not. They're just full of the marinade and they get a little bit darker when you cook them. Now it's time to make our vegan cheese sauce. This stuff is foolproof. It is so good. It has never failed me. I have perfected this recipe and the key to making amazing vegan cheese sauce, in my opinion, is roasted garlic. Whenever you're in doubt about something tasting good, just throw some roasted garlic in there and it's guaranteed to be a success. So since this recipe calls for roasted garlic, we're gonna need to roast some garlic. In case you don't know how to do this, it's very, very simple. For this vegan cheese sauce, we're gonna need half a head of roasted garlic. Yes, I know that seems like a lot. That's basically mm, like eight cloves of garlic. And if you have like a really small head of garlic, you can go ahead and just roast that whole thing. But if you have a really fairly large one, take half of those cloves in there and use it for this recipe. But basically how you roast garlic is that you take the entire garlic head, you cut the top of it off, and then you just wrap it in foil and place it in the oven. I usually roast mine at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes, and that usually does the trick. But because we are roasting the mushrooms, I'm just gonna throw them in while the mushrooms cook, and they should be ready when the mushrooms come out. So it should take about 30 to 40 minutes. And you know your garlic is finished cooking when you take it out of the oven, unwrap the foil, and stick a little knife in it, and if the garlic cloves are really tender and a little bit caramelized on the outside, you are good to go. So once the roasted garlic head has cooled off a little bit, you can just squeeze out each of the little garlic cloves. They're like little pods, and it should come out and look like disgusting pus that you're squeezing from a pimple, but it's amazing. Just. Just roll with it. So to finish up the cheese sauce to a high-speed blender, you're going to add half a cup of soaked cashews, one cup of unsweetened almond milk or soy milk, your roasted garlic cloves, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. And then you're just gonna blend it up until it is sexy smooth. And now about this time, you can have your water boiling for your pasta. I am using macaroni noodles for this recipe, but you can use whatever noodles you like. I prefer macaroni noodles when I'm making macaroni and cheese. Also the little spiralized noodles work really well. Penne works really well you know, whatever you want. And then you're just going to cook your pasta 
um, as the package instructs you to. Mine took about six to seven minutes. Then you're going to drain your pasta, add it back to the pot, and add in your freshly made cheese sauce. Stir it all together, serve it up in some bowls, and then top with your delicious mushrooms. This stuff is smoky, creamy, flavorful. It's so, so good. I hope you guys try it. If you like this video, you guys know what to do. Give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me if you guys are gonna try this at home. This makes a great side for Thanksgiving. I know Thanksgiving and Christmas can be a little difficult sometimes for us vegans because you don't really know what to make. You wanna make something that really impresses and wows your family. And this is the dish for you, my friends. It will wow everyone who tries it. If you do end up making this, please tag me on Instagram. My handle is at more salt, please. You can also do the hashtag more salt, please. And I'd love to see all your food creations. I just love when you guys make my recipes and show me everything that you do in the kitchen. It's just so awesome. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Make sure that you take care of yourself this week, eat good food, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.